I'm Hannah from the Mouseflow product team. And today we're gonna to talk about analyzing journeys and making the most of them for your business. Most important thing to understand is that this visualization represents the user journey from left to right. So the further right you go, you would have sessions where users have visited more and more pages. Obviously from the same page, different users might go on to different pages. So that's why under each step, you see multiple pages from the most commonly visited to the least with data for other pages aggregated at the bottom. Sessions where users didn't go past that particular page to visit another, but actually left the site, those count as drops and they're represented with this pink reddish indicator. On the other hand, you have the blue indicator, which represents entries. That means sessions where users actually visited this page as their very first one in the session. For obvious reasons, you will never see drops in the steps that come before your focus page, nor will you see entries on the steps after your focus step. That is because those would actually mean that users did not visit your focus page. And that's what you care about. So that's what we filter for. Now let's talk about the percentages. Next to each page, you see the total number of sessions and the percentage. This percentage is always out of the 100%, which is the sessions that visited the page you're interested in. But if you look at a link that is the connection between two specific pages, you see a different percentage there. And that one answers the question, out of all the sessions that move from this page onwards in the site, what percentage actually chose this particular page? So in this case, you would see that 16.7% of the users that moved on from the pricing page came back to the home page. And now that we know what the different numbers mean, let's talk about how to make sense of it for your business. So the first tip is go and add steps to the right of your focus step to see whether users, for example, go back and forth between different pages often. As you can see here from the monthly to the annual pricing, the monthly again and annual again, and so on and so forth. Maybe there's a way to make it easier for them to make a choice. Speaking of things that you want users to do, it could be a purchase, it could be a sign up, it could be account creation. No matter what it is, you can set the page of that successful action as your focus step and then look at the steps preceding it. That will show you how users are most commonly ending up where you want them to end up. And you can see if some of those pages actually are not driving as much success as you want, Maybe have a look at those by clicking on a page. You're able to also look at the heat map of this page. And then of course, switch between a scroll heat map and the click heat map, the attention one. That can teach you so much on why potentially users are doing what they're doing or not doing what you want them to do. Let's not forget filters. Those are an incredibly powerful tool to help you narrow down your analysis even further. Because yes, this visualization is already filtering for users that visited this page. But what if you're interested in a certain device type or a certain segment of your users or actually the performance of a particular campaign? You're able to apply any of our normal filters to this visualization and see the numbers change. Now it's your time to go out and explore. Good luck on your journey and may it uncover lots of valuable insights for your business.